For minor conflicts, situations quickly escalated into tense and contentious circumstances. Stop! They were trying to conduct a traffic stop and you were not listening to me. A traffic stop when I'm Put parked there the whole time. Controlling emotions and dealing with unreasonable demands from Karen require patience and discipline from the police officers. Why don't we just call Rick and let's just, let's just talk to him and let's just... However, not every challenge ends the way Karen expects. Stop. Stop. Why did he call us today? Because, uh, because we are arguing. Sometimes, the patience of the police can reach its limit and lead to unintended consequences. These will be the exemplary faces of the situations in today's video. Right now, we're going to start with an unusual case, where Karen tries to stir up trouble by impersonating a detective after being pulled over for a traffic violation. You are not listening to me. A traffic stop when I'm parked there the whole time oh, doing an investigation. Your... On April 6, 2023, the police attempted to pull over a woman for tinted window violation. However, instead of complying, she defiantly refused to stop and accelerated, attempting to flee the scene. Few knew that this was just the beginning of an escalating and chaotic situation. Lower all the windows down. Yeah. Before can advise them cut it off right now. We're on the boulevard in North Bay. Commands now. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Put your. Okay. Okay. Sorry about one time. Put your windows. Put your hands outside the vehicle. Put your hands outside the vehicle. Put your hands outside the vehicle. Okay, okay. okay. Just riding around the car. Y'all from California? Where are y'all from? Hollywood Beach Police, man. Be strong. Okay, man. Let me see your hands. Let me see both your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see both your hands. Pull both of your hands out. Ma'am, you step out of the vehicle. Put your hands up. Hands up. Hands up. All right, put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. You already put your pants up? You already put your pants up. Put your keys on top of your car. Listen up. Put your keys on top of your car. We told you a reason as soon as you step out of the car. Listen to me. Put your keys on top of your car right now. Put your keys on top of your car. Do me a favor and put your keys. As soon as you get out, the vehicle, step out the vehicle. What is the reason for y'all stopping me? What is the reason? Step out of the vehicle. What is the reason because I've been pulling? I've been pulling. Okay, okay, let me see your hands. Step out. Step, step out. Step out. Take it by car. Out of the car. Oh, we're trying to get it out of the car. Stop reaching for stuff. Out of the car. Stop reaching. Out of the car. Drop the bag! You need to drop the fucking bag! Get out of the car. Don't roll up the window! Get out. Step out of the vehicle right now. Step out of the vehicle. Okay, so I'm out my vehicle. Okay. What is the reason y'all yeah. arresting me? Face that way. Face that way and I'll let you know. Face that way and I'll let you know. As the tension escalated, the woman found herself surrounded by officers. However, her demeanor remained strangely calm, as if she didn't perceive the seriousness of the situation unfolding. Despite the police's demands, she made the most absurd excuses imaginable. Yo, come here. Put your hands up for me, okay? No, this is different direction. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, put your hands up. Don't tell me to shut up. No, don't tell me to shut up. I'm not cheating me. Put your hands up. What is the reason why y'all doing this? Stop. They were trying to conduct a traffic stop and you were not listening. Oh my 
I cannot take a seat. Do not you push me down like that. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, take a seat. Don't you understand, huh? What is your problem? Stop resisting. Huh? Relax. What is your problem? I've been sitting there doing an undercover investigation of a bunch of people who have been trying to kill people. I have not had nobody arrest my head. Okay? I just got something expunged from a prior detective work. I'm staying in my car. There's nobody in my car. I am from Hollydale Beach. So who are y'all? Who are y'all a part of, Orlando? The other people who've been working with the bad cops on the other side since I've been working with Pete London and other people? And y'all want to jack me up like this? Okay then. Like many entitled Karens, she swiftly transformed what could have been a peaceful encounter into a tumultuous ordeal. Hey, I'm What's your name? What do you mean? What's my name? My name is. You heard me from the other side to pay attention to what I was saying. I don't listen to me when I say. I told you you already put your pants no up. Reason, and I and I let you put your pants up. But I also told you to stop. I'm wondering if this is listen. a joke. This is not a joke. Relax. Okay, well these cuffs are too tight. All right. As so as if the cuffs are too tight, you have to loosen are you them gonna, a bit. Are you gonna comply? Comply with what? What is the reason? All right, to stop resisting. Me? Stop what resisting. happened? All right, they're gonna tell you in just a second. Okay, well please tell me. I'm, I'm being serious. I'm laying okay. down and I'm asleep. So okay. tell me what is happening. Okay. No citations. Let's go. Let's what is going on? Okay, uh, let me just call another detective. Are you okay then? Where yeah, is your ID? My ID is in my bag okay. and my purse. Let's do something. Okay. Let's do something. Okay. Uh, listen to me. Are you gonna listen to me? Yeah, I'm listening. When I adjust the me? cuff, I'm gonna adjust the cuff. Thank I'm gonna you. take out your book bag. Right. If you do uh, something, if, if, if you do, if you do, I I understand. And I'm anarchy. Right, no, I am. Good. If you do something, listen it, up. That's me. I, and you move while I'm taking off this your handcuff. This must be a back page, huh, sir? You, 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 huh? I'm gonna have to. Why I you don't wanna. Put me on the ground? I'm saying, if I take out it your handcuff, huh? I'm, 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 I'm not laughing at that. I'm gonna adjust your cuff. No, it's If you do some movement, disabled the other day when I told him that. Let's go. Let's get job. Morgan. When I'm done with all of this, I want I want the badge for everyone on this case. Yes, ma'am. I'm taking this again to federal court. Right. Serious. Right. Why are you pushing up my wrist? No, we are. I'm not, not pushing it. You know, you guys are pretty strong when you're pushing holding? I told you to leave your hand right there. I told you to leave your hand right there. Do you see me re resisting anything? Because I you're want to get not, in my car. Not. taking all of my, my possessions. Right okay? I'm sick of it. And that's my book sack. That goes with me wherever I go. Ooh, so if y'all decide that y'all want to take me to jail to eat for free, then it's going with me. Right, Understand? But I have no reason for an arrest. Okay. I need to see my book sack because last time I had things stolen. Stolen from myself. Do you have anything that's going to prick me or help oh. me or anything like that? Any weapons? I, I have. My, on you, on you, on you. No. Okay, I have. You have something in the car you want to tell me about? No. Okay. Where am I going? To the patrol car. I need my bus back. You're going to yes, get it. Come with me. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Where's come my on. keys for my come car? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why are y'all arresting me? Thank you. Can you get my bus back? I'm requesting my book sack. All right, you're going to get it. Come on. One sec. Thank you. Appreciate it. At this point, if you think she has become cooperative, then you're probably underestimating the combative attitude of this woman. Turning a simple situation into a more serious one is a special ability that these Karens seem to possess. Where's my car going? Because I was told that my car can be parked here and I was supposed to go over to that next location. Walk, ma'am. Are you treating walk. me? Do not yuck me up. Then walk. Because it's my right to ask questions. Walk. My car better not be going to an impound because that is fully that is a fully paid off vehicle with all my personal belongings. So you can stay, you, you, you guys can stay playing tough with these handcuffs. I'm sick of this shit. No, it's the truth. If y'all don't know, if y'all are new with this. Right, it's a federal offense to touch my yeah. stuff, so it better be parked over here by the chamber the same way they told me if anything happened to my vehicle, I could drive the chamber bus with Hollandale from California right, to here. Let me say, open your feet up a little bit wider. I could be treated with some more respect, so all of my stuff better come this way. Do you have any precincts anywhere? Did you understand the question I was asked? Do you have any precincts anywhere? I'm not answering y'all questions until y'all tell me why I'm here. Have his hand, put it on top of your head. What? 
Walk forward. Walk. Finally, the woman was arrested and faced charges of resisting arrest, fleeing, and eluding. What do you think of this woman's daring action? Please comment your opinion below the video. The next situation revolves around a woman identified as Deborah Odom, 60 years old. A Karen determined to win the Oscar for the most childish tantrum. Hello. Sorry. For what? All right. We, we got a call about your driving that you were having problems staying in the lane, that you kind of like put your turn signal on and you took a while to figure out where you're going. And then when you made the left, you made this really wide turn. You sure? Okay. You have your license registration proof of insurance? Florida police officers conducted a traffic stop on Deborah's vehicle after multiple drivers reported that she was driving erratically on the road. However, what followed next had Key West police visibly irritated, but also smiling at the woman's performance. Why are you pulling me over? Well, I didn't really. I was following you because we got a, and people were saying, I mean, from, from the 100 mile marker. They were calling about a red. Really? Yes. When you pulled in here, you made no, a very. I'm not going to do that. You're not going to do what? I'm no. Not do put that. your car in park. No. Car in park now. Why? Ma'am, put your car in park. Why? Step out all the way in park. Step out of the car for me. Because you were about to take off on me. So please step out of the vehicle. Stop. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. Step out. No. 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 Step out no. of the car. I am giving you a lawful order to step out of the car. Okay. Then I want to record everything. I will Wait, record. We're recording. Then I will need... record everything. Th okay. That's fine. But you need to step out of the car. Well, step out, please. You just let me record everything. Then you record re anything. <laughs> Ma'am. Here. No. Well, you're really? either... Really? Yes. Several lawful orders for you to step out of the car. You're refusing those orders. And I'm telling you to get out of the car right now. She tell me to get in the car right now. Yes, right? because I'm conducting a DUI investigation, that's DUI? why. DUI? Yeah. Seriously? Seriously. We're not joking. Instead of complying with the lawful requests of the officers, Deborah became resistant and repeatedly said no. But that was just the beginning. What came next was when she delivered her unforgettable performance. So here we are. I have breast cancer. I just had my... <laughs> I just had my third treatment of breast cancer, and these people have stopped me. Okay, so you think that's cool? Based on the fact that several people called in that they were concerned about your driving and how you almost hit them, I, I, I understand. Based on the fact that, given that I could smell alcohol in your breath, okay, you're swaying okay, while you stand. Do you want to consent to some few I'm, sobriety exercises? Of course I would. But, okay, but um, uh, I just lost. Just lost what? It just is something. Representatives from the Monroe County Sheriff's Office approached Deborah, intending to conduct field sobriety tests at the scene. However, Deborah proposed an alternative solution that she believed was better. Why don't we just call Rick and let's just let's just talk to him and let's just please, please. Oh, I don't I don't understand because. I've known him for 10 years, and like, okay. and like he knows I'm not a f Well, nobody has called you that, nor do we Jeez. think that. Do me a favor, well, turn. I want to just record it. I just want to record. Okay. And listen, Wait, we're no. going to have to take this away yeah. from you. So are we refusing to do the rest of these exercises? No. Let's I, I love them. you guys. Like, I don't want anything. I don't want to be in this position either, okay? What? Please, put the phone down. I want to record all of you guys. We're recording, Man, too. She, she acts like she don't want to be recording. Like, she got my... Man. Listen, all right, we're, she, we're done You got here. my license? Yes. Of course, her request was unreasonable and unacceptable. As soon as she realized her plan was failing, Deborah challenged the patience of the officers by snatching her license back from them. This quickly led to her being handcuffed. Nope, not up. Because this is not going to end well for you. Are you kidding me? No, we are not kidding you. Give me, give me my phone. Can you give let him know what 6101 work code 5 will have one in custody. 
Give me my phone. Your phone's going with us. Your no, give me my phone. Us. Do you want to take this? I'll take it. Okay. No. Are give you PTO me my phone. certified? She, no. she, she chose that. Like, she has got <laughs> with him. So, oh, we'll just... Really? Yes. Really? Like, you're gonna, you threatening me? No. Are you going to walk with me, or are we going to have Can to I carry you to Can I just stop my... My... my we're going to take care we'll of take all care that. Of Is that. there anything other than your phone that you want You're to do with me. you? You're hurting me! 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 While waiting for backup to arrive, the officers had Deborah placed on the ground. But, with a determination to win the award for Best Actress, Deborah persisted. She continued to try to perform her act. Under statute 1314, I'm allowed 14 minutes. Then I'm allowed, where, where, where's my, where, where am I? 13.4, where, where am I? Where am I? You're in the parking lot of Ocean Gardens. Yeah. 14 minutes! Where the f are you? Yeah, crap. Oh, aren't you so aren't you so proud? <laughs> this is this is your this is your, your this is your life! This is, I'm, I'm your son's teacher! I'm your son's teacher! This is what they're doing to me! Get this off of me! No. No! You're hurt! I can't I can't breathe! I'm telling you, I cannot breathe! Do you need an ambulance? I need an ambulance! She, she's oh. hurt me! She's hurt me! Can you roll Rescue oh, 20 God, our please, way, reference? Our arrestee is unable to breathe. God, you're so sick! You're so sick! You're sick! With the participation of two police officers, Deborah became even more confident in her performance. Please, just so I can breathe. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn you on your side. At this moment, both law enforcement and medical personnel arrived at the scene to provide assistance. The support team quickly calmed Deborah down. She seemed to be out of breath for a moment, but miraculously recovered. So no injuries, you're just a little unbalanced. I'm sorry. Okay. She was claiming she couldn't breathe right. earlier. You liar. Okay. Okay, listen, talk to me. No, she's a liar. Okay, talk to me. You yeah, why person? don't you go home? Debbie. Debbie. Deb. Deb. I'm here, let's talk, okay? No. Can I, can I stand you up? Of course you can. Okay, I'm going to stand you up. All right? Okay, ready? One, two, three. After stabilizing Deborah in the patrol car, the officers proceeded to search her vehicle. They discovered an open bottle of alcohol, but that wasn't all. Yeah, we got, we got more wine here, but it's not open. Okay. 
The police found multiple bottles of alcohol in the front seat of the suspect's car, including one full bottle and one completely empty bottle. However, before drawing any conclusions, they immediately discovered many more bottles of alcohol in the back of the car. Among them were bottles that were empty, half empty, still full, and all of them were still cold. At this moment, another incident occurred. It seems very difficult for Deborah to give up her plan. The police were already fed up with her old and tiresome act. Hey, ma'am. Ma'am. Right after the police helped Deborah calm down, she was taken to the police station for further processing. God. You act, you act like I'm some kind of crazy person. Just stop. Stop. Let go of me. Let go of me. Please, we're not going to we're me. not going to do this again. Oh, 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 that's what you're doing? That's what you're doing? That's yeah. That's what you're doing? Thank you. Stop. 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 No. Stop it. If you stop. bite me, did you you're just get another charge? At the police station, Odom's behavior escalated into physical resistance. She bit the police officers, but the incident didn't stop there. Please open your mouth for me so I can make sure you can don't you have to Please open your mouth and shut the f Can you just look? No, okay. check her f mouth. Okay. Ooh, ooh, uh, she's got a in it. Deborah escalated the situation further when she began to make racially discriminatory remarks and resist during the booking process at the jail. And what would happen if suddenly you forget how to speak English? Well, let's see Deborah's next performance. Uh, how am I in English? I don't speak English. I would request a uh, right now. And if I am denied an interpreter, I will be Nothing can deter the police. Deborah was searched before being taken to jail. There, she continued with her uncontrollable behavior. Weirdo! Stop! God! Is that where she's been arrested for? DUI. Oh, DUI. Yeah, no, no, it's not DUI. It's a stupid. We both know what you did. I, I had to stop! Like stop. I'm, I'm, I'm having breast cancer! I'm under. Okay. We have to take the jewelry off. It's not gonna happen. At least we don't want to use for we need to put it in the chair. incident ended when the police became exhausted from Deborah's repeated behaviors. They had to put a spit hood over her head. Oh, oh, here we go. 
Really? Debbie, I'm trying to work with you. You're not working with me. Okay, so we're good. I'm trying to work with you. I'm, I'm not doing anything to you. Finally, Deborah Odom was charged with DUI and resisting arrest. Then she pledged not to contest the charges and was sentenced to probation along with a suspended license and fines. After all, the Oscar for the most childish tantrum can only go to Deborah. This is truly embarrassing for an adult like her. But it seems Deborah is not alone in this. Because the woman in the next case appears to have the same operating system as Deborah. Adult! What are you doing? Act like I an adult! This dog! Quit <laughs> screaming are you and doing acting that? a fool! On April 25th, 2022, law enforcement officers were urgently called to a residence following a report of a disturbance within the family. Upon arrival, they encountered a man who informed them that his partner had become physically violent and uncontrollable. As tension escalated and emotions ran high, the officers mentally prepared for a potentially volatile encounter with the agitated suspect. We're back. Well, I know. She's going nuts and everything. She's hit me once in the shoulder and kicked me. Where's she at? In the bathroom. What's she doing in there? Uh, maybe taking a shower. I don't know for sure. But they arrested her. Well, I don't know if they arrested her or whatever. Earlier the next day, she has a warrant out for her. This morning, that. Uh, they had to take her to the hospital instead. Mm -hmm. And I guess the hospital released her. I don't know if she's still got a warrant on her or not. I don't know anything about a warrant. Yeah, she got to lose my truck yesterday, last night, and was stealing a bunch of And uh, I think they said something about a car, too. Afterward, the police found the woman in the bathroom, where the next crazy situations began, as she continued to deny any wrongdoing she had done. Jennifer. <laughs> Stand up. We don't here. Call me. I come back in. I come back from the hospital. They both broke my wrist. It hurt so bad. It was some old guy that used to date my, my son's dad's sister, Donna Harper. I see him. He hates me. He does that shit on purpose. He both broke my wrist. I don't know what. <laughs> the woman, identified as Jennifer, became emotionally distraught, alternating between crying and resisting the police's demands. However, she seemed unaware or oblivious to her own actions, which were about to take the story in a different direction. I'm getting real tired of getting called out here. I'm sorry, I'm not the one calling you and I didn't No, do but anything. you're part of the problem. <laughs> to ascertain accurate information, the officers need input from both parties involved. Additionally, other relevant information may be necessary to provide a comprehensive case file. And she kicked you up in your upper thigh? Yeah, right now. So you probably can't. So what's going on? What did she... She come, she come back here and she's just been yelling, screaming, slamming doors, telling me I'm stealing her money. She's, I get $400 a day for her being here. Mm -hmm. Something about raping little kids. Yeah, I just... It's just like everything. I'm so sorry. It's just like everything. I'm sorry. I'm crying. The only reason women fucking jumping on me, like I don't go. What happened? Myself. What happened today? I don't know. Like I feel like he gave me something or something. I don't uh, know. Stop. Seriously. Why did he call us today? Because uh, because we were arguing, we are arguing, and uh, I said, and bring him back in that house, and I was eating a damn cookie, and a fucking cookie crumb fucking like, fell off, and he's like, oh, you hit me, you, I'm like, I didn't hit you, what are you talking about, I didn't hit you. At this point, the woman is exhibiting a sense of superiority, 
believing she is above the law even after committing a crime. However, she is about to learn a harsh lesson. What are you doing right now? I just wet my hair and I'm sticking straight up. <laughs> I don't know if he has like somebody out he's seeing somebody else he wants to I don't know what his problem It sounds like he wants you he's been wanting you to leave for a while because that's what we've been called out here the past five times for. What what happened? Because this house is a nab bill but it's what? Turn around. What are you doing? Why are you taking me to jail? Because you're pissing me off. I'm not please stop, I'm not You pull please away from stop. me. Please so. don't take me to jail. Stop. Please don't take Be me an to adult. jail. Okay. Begging ain't gonna help nothing right now, I promise you that. Please don't take me to jail. I didn't hit him. I didn't do anything. Let me check this. <laughs> You're acting like a child. I'm because I just got him because I feel like it. I don't know what I feel like. I'm sorry. I'm not breaking the law. I didn't How do you anything. even know that I'm saying anything about hitting him? <laughs> Where did that come from? Huh? Not... Why would he tell you that? Huh? It was a damn it was a cookie crumb that fell off the cookie. I swear to God. I did not hit him. I didn't. <laughs> Please stop. I didn't do anything. What are you doing? I didn't break the law. I didn't. What are you arresting me for? For assault. You have the right to remain I silent. I didn't hit him. Anything you say stop can it. and will be used against you in court. Have an attorney present with you during any and all questions. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you prior to any questions. Stop. I didn't hit him. Are you done? <laughs> huh? I didn't do it! Stand, stand up uh, like a grown uh, adult. No, you see. <laughs> I didn't do it. Stop. Get him. <laughs> I didn't do it. You kicked me again. I didn't kick you. I didn't do it. Jennifer has truly tested the patience of the officers, leading to her arrest and placement in a patrol car right after the police confirmed the necessary information for the arrest. Tensions escalated as she continued to act out, crying like a child. That's enough! I I act like a adult! What are you doing? Act like I an adult! Did. Screaming and acting like a that? fool in the back uh, of my car! I didn't do it! I didn't break the law! Breaking the law for real! I me. didn't break the You keep damaging my car, you're going to catch some more! I didn't hit him! Stop my car! I didn't stop! Hit him. You better stop! Are you done? I didn't hit him! I did it, swear to God I did it! Are you done? <laughs> Are you done? I didn't hit him! Okay, you can I didn't hit him! After some arguing, it seemed like she was about to calm down. But the situation took an unexpected turn, escalating tensions even further. Listen, I'm going to give you one chance to sit back like you're supposed to. Sit back in the seat. Turn your back towards me. I'm going to pull your shirt up. I swear to God, I didn't. I didn't. Got to lean back up. Please don't take me to jail. Please I didn't. Please lean back. Please, I don't take me to jail. Please I did not back. hit him. Lean Please. Back no. <laughs> 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 the other side and grab that buckle. So I, uh, sit back. What are you Please. doing? I didn't hit him. I'm trying to buckle you up. I didn't. Uh, Jennifer, stop. I didn't. You're not, you're not going to cry your way out of here. I didn't hit him. Okay? You can argue I that in court. Why is it okay for somebody just to go up and say something? Please I didn't. Hey! I'm going to mess with him. Hey! Uh, Jennifer! Uh, 829. Uh, Advise the jail to have the chair ready. The police quickly took the woman to the police station. They had to deal with her disruptive behavior during the transfer to jail. And, this only added to the additional charges the woman would likely face in the future. Stop it! What the is wrong with you? 
You're breaking my car! <laughs> you're gonna need somebody else. I'm all we got. I know you know you're needy. And I'm not getting in that chair. Yeah, you are. I know I'm not. <laughs> no. Despite denying wrongdoing, the woman was ultimately arrested on charges including domestic violence and property damage, obstructing, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct. There's nothing to guarantee that she won't repeat similar actions. Perhaps Jennifer needs additional mental health care in addition to the penalties. This would help her stabilize, and both her family and those around her would be ensured greater safety than ever before. Don't, uh, don't, listen, don't walk up on me. Do not push me. Okay, I'm showing the police officer. Ah! On January 25th, 2023, in Ohio, police responded to an apartment to resolve a fight between two women. Police learned that the girlfriend had caused chaos in the apartment. Did um, you call? Yeah. What's going on? Um, so my girlfriend, like, she had her best friend come over. Okay. And something with her best friend and her boyfriend was going on, and my girlfriend didn't like it, so oh. she all right so you guys you guys live together no i'd be i'm over here a lot kids they got kids together or anything like that no okay she and then she just tried to like fight me yeah. so like she's like i on the phone with the uh, police department she was like oh what do you, who do you think they believe the police like so what's what's the physical aspect between you and your girlfriend oh she's gonna stop her hands with Put her hands on you. Okay. Yeah. And stuff like that. I got the videos. I took videos. All right. Are you wanting to press she charges? Said, she said they had a little to drink. Her girlfriend invited her best friend to come over. And there was some conflict between them. Her girlfriend didn't like that, so she started causing trouble with everyone around. Despite that, the girlfriend decided not to accuse her. She just wanted to safely get to the room, grab her clothes, and leave. But is everything really that simple? When the police took the girl to the room and she had to face the suspect. Are you wanting to press charges against her? No, it's just that. What What are you wanting us to do? I'm just trying to get my stuff out of the apartment. Yeah, okay. And you guys don't live together. Uh, do you have a key to get in? I think your boyfriend's holding that door open for me. Hey, Chelsea, we got the door open. The police. Look at my face. Look at hers. She just wants to get her stuff and leave. Is that okay? Yeah. Did you have a complaint? I need my phone. The girl's state seems to be not sober, and things get worse as this girl becomes increasingly agitated. Well, if you tell me your phone number, I'll try calling it. Nine three seven. No, no, I found my phone. You found it? Yeah. All right. What is your relationship? Do you want to press charges? No. I want to press charges on you! Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah! Okay, what happened? We're okay. What's going on? You trying to be a cop! Thanks. Look, she, she, she's trying to be a cop! She's trying to be a cop! Do not push me like that, though. I do! When I'm telling you to stop, you need to stop. Don't, uh, but listen, don't, don't walk up on me. Do not push me like Okay, I'm trying to police officer. Ah! Police detained the girl before she could do anything crazier. No longer maintaining her calm demeanor as before, the girl started screaming, crying, and then laughing. It was truly insane. Perhaps this is what made her girlfriend decide to leave. Oh <laughs> 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 no! I got close here. No! Stop. 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 Stop.
The situation continued as the girl revealed that she had just spent a week in jail and she didn't want to go back. It seems like she is someone who enjoys causing trouble because of this. Luckily, her friends were kind enough not to escalate the situation further. And you are dead to me! I'm going to jail for the weirdo! No! No! I'm not going to jail! I'm not going to jail again! You're a weirdo! Who's my number? All that shit! I swear to God! Who's all that shit? Bro, why is that shit weirdo? Suspects often like to ask why the police are putting them in jail. And this girl is no exception. <laughs> why am I going to jail for? I've, I've been in jail for a week. I don't even go. One, two, three. Slide back. Slide back for me. Slide back. Swing your feet down that way. Yeah, this week is. All right. All right. Okay, I got it. Bro, she is on me and I'm going to jail! The woman kept screaming and babbling incessantly throughout the journey to the headquarters for interrogation. I like it rough. Come on. Come on, ass bitch. Come on. I like it rough. I like it rough! She's right here. Uh, she last thing. Hey, what's your name? None of your business, bro. Cause you, no, no! She seemed to know how to make the situation worse by resisting getting out of the car and constantly kicking the police officers. But that was not a problem. The officers took her outside to confront her wrongdoings. Oh, yeah! hey. I don't give a oh, yeah! You're either going to come out or we're going to pull you out. It's from you. It's from you. How y'all the abuser? Live in my house. Nope. Let's go. You got the right one. It's terrible for these officers to have to deal with someone who enjoys such aggression. It took them quite a while to take this woman away. Fortunately, in return, she was arrested on related charges. The woman is now facing charges of resisting arrest, obstructing official business, and refusing to disclose personal information in a public place. If she were smarter, she would know that resorting to violence against the police is a foolish act. Especially when she had just been released from prison. Then maybe the situation wouldn't have been so bad. I think the judgments might be the best answer to why the police decided to put them in prison. From the moment of settlement, we need to know one more thing. No matter who it is, no one can touch anyone. It is wrong, and they must face the consequences accordingly. Let us stand together in the belief that those who commit violent crimes must be brought to justice. But things like this, nowadays, it is not unique. Let's move on to the next issue to know this really needs more attention. Get your hand told, off of me. Stop, I told you you're under arrest, get the car. Why? Because you have a warrant. Sean Malarkey, 45 year old. On June 9th, 2022, a Hinsdale police officer is executing an arrest warrant on a woman for domestic violence against her ex-husband. The suspect has been identified as Sean Malarkey, 45 years old, who is alleged to have used a car to hit her ex-husband. Hey, step out of the car right now. Ma'am? Yep. 
20 expedite. We're in the garage. She's closing. Yep, step out. Excuse me. Excuse step out. No, excuse me. Step Put out. your hands off of me. Step out of the car right no, now. No, no. You're under arrest. No, I am not. Yes, you are. No, I am not. Yes, you are. Get your hands off. Open this off. garage door. When the police arrived, the woman was still inside the car, parked in her own garage. They asked the woman to get out of the car to investigate the incident. But she started resisting the officers on duty. You get your hands off of me. No. Get out of the car now. No. I will tase you if you don't get out of the car. Get your hands Michael, off of stop. me. Stop. I told you you're under arrest. Why? Get out of the car. Why? Because you have a warrant. Did somebody say that you could come into our house? You don't stop tugging. I'm going to tase you if you don't get out of the car. Despite the warning to comply with the arrest, the woman continued to assert her authority, even kicking the officer, Sean Malarkey. She repeatedly demanded to call her lawyer and kept using offensive language. Yanked me! I yanked you because I told you you're under arrest and you refused to exit your vehicle. Yes! Filed a motion to quash this. Well, we're going out here this way. That's I'm calling happen. my no. I'm calling my attorney. It's not going to happen. No, I'm calling my attorney. I'm going to tell you right thing now. My children are home alone. Giving you an order in the car. We will my get your father here. Are home the alone. Take care of your alone. children. No, you're not taking care of shit. I'm going to get the home. way that you take care of somebody is throwing them down. Like, like I wouldn't piss on if you were on fire. I smell you an odor of alcohol on your breath. No, that's my piss. When the police arrested Sean Malarkey, they noticed the smell of alcohol on her. Her response was truly astonishing. You take down a mother in front of her f***ing children, but you are somehow f***ing I think he asked you pretty politely to get out. No. Nope. Were I you saw there? I saw when I walked in. Yeah. You're not getting out. Hey, I didn't tell you to get out of the car. Stop. Where is your phone at? Get or your... Or, uh, do not touch me. Get his f***ing hands off me. You get you your f***ing hands off me. Cool. Hey, if you keep resisting... Get your f***ing... You, you don't get to touch me. You are a disgusting piece of shit. The woman escalated the situation by resisting arrest biting and kicking the police officers and continuously spewing inappropriate remarks. F***ing touches me again. Get in the car, Sean. Get your hands off me. You know what he, no, do you know what he's done? I'm gonna kick you right in the fucking ass. That's mean. That motherfucker has touched me more times than appropriate. Right. With what? Yeah. I, we could just do what he says. Oh, no. no. Listen to what no. he says verbally. Fortunately, Sean Malarkey was eventually apprehended after a struggle with the police. It was unfortunate that these officers had to deal with her. In the end, they managed to resolve the situation. Sean Mullerkey was subsequently charged with serious DUI offenses, a third-time offender with mandatory jail time, assaulting an officer, and misdemeanor resisting arrest. And she also received citations for the offense of transporting or possessing a strong liquor, with fines potentially reaching up to $1,000. A week later, she was charged additionally for endangering the health or life of a child, violating probation, and resisting obstructing the police's apprehension of her. The truth is, Sean Malarkey is currently under the influence of alcohol while still driving, which is a traffic violation. It is an extremely dangerous behavior. I really cannot imagine the terrible consequences that she could cause. I hope we will also learn something from this incident. And what happens when you are drunk and get into a fight with a stranger? Watch the following incident. I guess you will soon know the consequences. Don't kick me. On August 6, 2023, while on patrol in Ohio, an officer discovered two women fighting outside a bar. These women were pulling each other's hair and physically fighting. When the police activated the patrol car's lights and sirens, the altercation began to disperse as bystanders helped separate the women. 17, send me some winter support because I got some females fighting. In front of court, these two females. They're broke up. No, no, no. Uh, come here. My, my, Stop. my car. Stop. I'm going to my car. I'm going to my car. Stay right there. Okay, stop. Stop. I'm not playing. Stop right there. Nope. Stop. 
Stop. Okay. I'm fight. I swear, come on. I'm gonna help you out. We need a, we need no, attention. No, because you're attacking me. You're not listening. No, you're attacking Pardon. me. The officer approached a woman sitting nearby who was related to the altercation. The officer asked the woman about the recent incident. Can you guys get she back away from me? Okay, you can talk can to her, you but you're not going anywhere. What's going on? I got dumped. Okay. Women just put the hands on me. Relax. I got dumped. I want to go to my car. I want to leave. Okay. Tell me what happened. I want my sister. They, I don't even know these people. They know my sister. Green hair? They, According to the woman involved in the altercation, she stated that they were not acquainted with each other and that she was being attacked. Whether everything happened as she said or not, Okay. I don't need to Are you guys together? Your sister? We're together. That's my sister. They but tried to jump it. on me. Yes, I do. Okay. That's fine. We're trying to figure out what's no. going on. That's fine, but I have no more. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey. Come here. Mama, you stay there. Stop. Right. Mama, don't fight. No, it's not. Oh, come here. No. Come here. Oh, oh, my God. They're being detained right now, okay? No, it's fine. She's oh, being detained. She's not listening to me. She's going to pull away. Mama, stop. 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 Mama, but her actions raised suspicions. When the woman refused to cooperate and continued towards the bar despite law enforcement officers ordering her to stop, the police had to detain her and call for backup. Seriously? Please corroborate. She's no, not they're not. They're not tell me, tell me, tell me a corroborate. Tell me. Get up. under arrest for just stand up. I got dumped. Oh, like no, I got dumped. Um, I. Okay. Right here. Bill. Right here. Right here. Denise, Denise, record this. Record it. After the police handcuffed the suspect, they escorted her to the patrol car. However, she refused to get into the car and continued to resist prompting the police to physically place her inside. If you kick me, you're gonna Stop get a star card. I'm not playing the game. Don't kick me. Sit up, sit up, sit up. Stop! Stop. Stop. Oh, God damn it! Get up! Stop! Hold on, let's get full. Hurry up. Shut your door. Shut your door. No, get on your knees. Okay. I got jumped in there. Rest me because you're Shut the door. Shut the door. Alright. We still have to book her in. Me. So I want you and to And I tried to tell him. So I can make sure that she. Damn it. Wow. Yep. Close the door. Wow. Close it. Ready? Meanwhile, the second woman involved, in a drunken state, walked into a nearby parked car. The police tried to talk to the woman inside the car, but she started arguing with the officers and refused to leave the vehicle. No, no, don't don't touch. Touch. I'm not going to touch you. I can mix it Calm down. Ace, calm no, down. No, I know my Ace, it's okay. Y'all okay. okay. hey. think it was a fight? Just it wasn't leave. a fight. Okay. Where's the female officer? Just listen. You're right. I Go know I'm right. But you, you can't do that shit, though. Miss, I need you to come over here, please. Down. Just listen, bro. Right. And you're going to add some stuff, too. So if you want to calm down. At a pro, why you not listening to nobody? Car. I don't know where my kids are. Can I get out of the car first? Do you have an ID on you? Yes, I do. Oh, where's your ID at? Yes, I do. This woman was fortunate to have people around advising her, especially the young man next to her who remained calm and offered her advice. In the end, the woman stepped out of the parked car and continued to argue with the police. She was issued a citation for disorderly conduct and was released to her sober friend. Meanwhile, inside the vehicle, the remaining suspect was attempting to and successfully removed the handcuffs. However, if she thought she could escape outside, she was mistaken. She thought what she did was reasonable, and she didn't do anything. Of course, the officers had heard this a lot. They will not be easily fooled by the suspect's words. You're arresting me because I got dumped. I got dumped. Nothing happened to me. Somebody beat me up and you're arresting me. You're no, I got dumped. Officer, you to I was trying to tell my sister I got beat up. Come on. All right, come on, step out for me, okay? <laughs> Just 
Take a deep breath. You're fine. Come on. No, stop! Tessie, I didn't do nothing to nobody. I wanted her back. Later, the woman was taken to jail, where she continued to argue with the police before being escorted to the holding cell. She was charged with disorderly conduct, intoxication, and obstructing official business. After the incidents that had occurred, we can see the extent of harm caused by those intoxicated individuals. They even forget who they are, despite standing in front of officers, law enforcement personnel. They constantly shout, speak aggressively, continuously provoke, and worse, they attack the police, putting everyone at risk. Fortunately, all the suspects involved have been brought to justice. They will receive appropriate punishments. Additionally, through such incidents, we will learn more lessons about avoiding alcohol abuse. Let's work together to minimize the harm caused by alcohol abuse and help push back against these violent individuals by sharing videos as reminders to everyone about the consequences and repercussions you will face. It's important for them to reflect on and learn from those experiences. Learning from their mistakes and their consequences can help them become positive and respected members of the community. In this way, we can hope that such incidents will contribute to improving cooperation and respect between the community and law enforcement, thereby creating a safer and more peaceful environment for everyone. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to catch our latest videos. Thank you for watching. Wishing you all a wonderful day.